Hi folks, Dave here, AF5DN, and today I'm going to walk you through programming a repeater into the Bofang RV5U. Uh, we will be using the keypad in this video, and I'll walk you through the process of programming the radio with the software at a later date. All right, let's go over the bench and uh, take a look. Hi folks, uh, right now I'm going to show you how to program a repeater into the Bofang UV5R. It's uh, pretty straightforward. Let me turn this on here. And you see we're getting some background noise. A lot of this background noise is uh, simply from all of the fluorescent lights I have around here to give you some, some good video. So I'm just going to leave that turned down for now. The uh, first step you want to do is to make sure the radio is in the band that you're programming the repeater for. I'm going to be programming a VHF repeater. Steps are exactly the same for the UHF receiver, except you select the band first. And the repeater that I'm going to uh, program in, uh, its listening frequency is 146.840. So I'm going to program that in here. 146, 8. I'm doing this upside down for 0. Okay. And you can see there we got 146, 840. Okay. So I'm going to go through the menu process. First thing you're going to want to do is to verify your step frequency. Uh, sometimes if your step frequency is not set right, it's going to be hard to get these, uh, these frequencies. So to do that, you want to go to your first menu, which is number one. Menu, which is your squelch. And we're going to go up from there to step. And the step options, if we select step, we hit the menu to select step, you can go up, you can see there's 6.25, 10 kilohertz, 12.5 kilohertz, 25.0 kilohertz. And, and these are covered in the manual. I, for programming purposes, I like 5 kilohertz, that's just me. If I hit menu to select it, and you can exit to uh, get out of the the menu. All right. All right. So the next thing we're going to do is to program the transmit power. So we can do our menu again. Also, we're in step mode. We can go up. We're now in transmit power, which is number two. And you can see we have that in high. You you can change that by hitting menu again, and then up and down. You can see your options are low and high. Menu select, exit to come back. The next one we're going to uh, we're going to program is the wide or narrow. To the best of my knowledge, currently every repeater is using narrow. If there are some that require wide, um, just take that into consideration. Okay, so we hit menu again. We're on transmit power two. Let's go up to number five. There's three, four, five. And we select menu. And you can see we are at narrow. But you can go wide, narrow. Okay, this uh, picking up this background noise is a little irritating. So I'm just going to pull the antenna off temporarily. That's an easy way to to get them to stop doing that. <laughs> Alright, so we've got our narrow menu exit, menu and exit to exit. The next thing we need to put in is our CTCS code on the transmit side. Our receive side is optional. Um, I personally don't use them, but some people might. So here we go. We go to menu and we're going to go up to number 13.
Okay, and you can see my tone is off. I hit menu to select, and the tone of this repeater is 110.9, so I just hit the up button until I get 110.09. Menu to select it, exit out. Okay. Now the next thing we need to do is determine the shift, the, di the direction uh, of the transmit frequency in relation to the receive frequency. So this particular repeater is going to be a negative. So we select the menu and we go up and the uh, shift is option 25. Now you can just punch in 25, but I'm going to go ahead and just use the up, care, up care, uh, key here until I see 25. That 25 is right here, and it says shift. Mine is a negative, so I'm going to hit memory. Negative. That's menu, negative, menu, exit. All right, so the next, next thing I have to do is the offset. Uh, that is how many um, megahertz difference between the transmit and the receive frequency is. We already know we're going negative for transmit uh, and this particular uh, repeater uses the standard uh, 0.6 offset and that is going to be on option 26 so we go to menu and up just one and you can see it is 26 and this is at 5 kilohertz so that is way too high so we hit menu again, and we're going to go down. Oop, I got out of there here. Menu. And every time you hit the down arrow, it goes down significantly. So this is going to take a while. Uh, that five, is, uh, 5 megahertz is actually for the UHF, uh, typical for UHF offset. So I've actually got quite a ways to go here. And if you hold it down, you can hold it down. You can see the number scrolling by there. You don't have to push it a bunch, but you can just hold it down. Now this is, I will go over programming this with the uh, software. It is extremely easy to do with the software. Now one of the reasons this is taking so long <laughs> is because I have the, uh, the steps uh, set pretty low, so each each number there scrolling by has something to do with the uh, the step frequency that we currently uh, previously programmed in. Okay, so we're getting close here. We're at nine. We're in the sevens. All right, six four six point six megahertz or six hundred kilohertz. Menu, exit. All right. So now we have to program the memory channel. And we're going to do that. The memory channel is going to be number 27. Just the next one up. Menu, up to 27. Memory channel, I hit menu. That gives me the option to change the memory channel. And what you can see here, you know, these numbers that scroll by, is the channel frequency. This radio has 128 memory channels. And I want this one, I program all my radios the same, I want this repeater on 35, or excuse me, 30. So I just scroll her down. You can hold it down also if you wish. Okay. Two. 30 okay. and menu saves it and exit now this is the tricky part you got to pay attention to this when this radio saves all of that information you put in here about the repeater it does not save the transmit frequency the first time that's somewhat common on this type of radio. It's, uh, so this is, you know, it's nothing really bad about this one compared to other Chinese radios. 
the manual does not cover that. It does cover it in some of the other Chinese radios, but in this radio, the manual does not tell you that and doesn't tell you how to fix it. So this is what you have to do when you're programming with the keypad. Just briefly run through it. We picked our receive frequency. We picked our transmit power. We picked our narrow or wide. We set our CTCSS. We set our shift to negative. We set our offset at 600 kilohertz or 0.6 megahertz. We saved all that information into memory channel 30 but memory channel 30 still won't work we have to program the transmit frequency separate even though you technically did it you have to program it again so the only way to do that is to make sure you're in the VFO mode and here you have to manually do the math in your head and realize that if you're programming 146840 that your transmitter is transmitting on 146240 so we have to go to that frequency one uh, where am I here 46 two, four, zero. Okay, 146240 and we save this frequency again into memory channel 30 so I go menu I'm already at menu channel 30, so I do menu to enter channel 30, I do menu to save, and exit. Now at this point, that repeater should be programmed. Now here's the kicker, another thing to consider. With the keypad on this radio, you cannot program names into your channels. You can program names into your channel using the software. And if you have programmed a channel in using the keypad like we just did, and then you go back later and plug it into the software, you can add a name to it using the software. You don't have to reprogram the whole thing again. Okay. So let me go into our uh, VFO mode, take it out of VFO into memory. And I'm just going to go down here to our channel. And there we go. That's all there is to it. If you have any questions, please let me know. Thank you very much.